Jesus was always talking about his kingdom and the kingdom. And um, in fact, one time they asked him, you know, where's your kingdom? Where's your kingdom? And he was very emphatic. He said, my kingdom is not from here. And he said, if my kingdom was from here, my disciples would have fought and you would have seen an all out war. And so the kingdom is very important to, to God. And he even said in Matthew 3, repent, which means change your mind because the kingdom is at hand. I believe more than ever before that this is the time of the positioning of the bride to come into alignment with the kingdom of God. What is God's kingdom? all about. Praise God. Jesus came from heaven to earth and he came to establish a divine kingdom order which consists of a spiritual government, a spiritual army. Praise God that that, that amen is founded on spiritual laws and principles and bylaws. You as a child of God, I am a, as a child of God, as a believer have to begin to acquire the knowledge and praise God, the understanding of what those principles, laws and bylaws are all about. Failing to do so, we will be disadvantaged. We will be condescending uh, or conforming to a world cosmos, to a world system and a world mindset that, that, that God has not ordained. And this is why I'm saying today, he's calling you back to prayer. He's calling you back to seek his face. He's calling you at this time. Beloved, to know what his will is and what his word is so that you will be able, even though we live in this world, he said, we are not of this world. My kingdom is not from here. It's not of this world. That's what Jesus told them. So having that understanding, you have to begin to position yourself in prayer to know what the mind, the will, and the counsel of God is concerning you, concerning your family, concerning your job, concerning business, concerning what is happening in these end times. And the only way you will understand and know and be able to discern what these end times and last days are about uh, concerning the kingdom is if you posture yourself in prayer. I'm praying today that God will give you, praise God, amen, that desire and appetite to align yourself with the kingdom of, of, of God. You can look in the world and see the world is working a wicked agenda. The God of this world, Satan, is working what? A dark agenda. So you as a child of God need to know what is God's agenda? What is God's agenda in these last days? Once you get in prayer, I believe in all my heart, the Spirit of God will reveal to you exactly what God's will is. So I pray for you. I pray for your family. I pray that in this time, uh, in these trying times, in these testing times, that the spirit of the highest will overshadow you and that God will give you the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that you need. Praise God. Amen. To exist and to function powerfully in his kingdom. Praying for you. God bless you. Be strong in the Lord.